been told this to my face that I love you and her. I love you both. And I'm just like, I'm sorry. What? Hey, why, 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 why? All right, hey everybody, welcome back to part two of the relationship Q&A. Uh, <laughs> answered some really hectic questions in the beginning in part one. If you haven't seen part one, I suggest that you watch that. You can move from this video, but, but come back. But move from this one and watch part one first so that you can get the flow of what's going on, what the kind of questions we're getting, and then watch this one. So um, what is your take on taking a break or getting space in a relationship. Now, in my relationship right now, we know that taking a break or getting space is not a real thing. We're breaking up, okay? We both know we're aware that should the other one say, I need some space, I need to take a break from us. It's over, it's done. There's, you can't, for me personally, I can't come back from taking a break, from being told. If, if, if he comes to me and he tells me that I need a break and then comes back two months later and be like, okay, my break, break, I'm like, can you go on to second half? Ooh, pee. I'm going to have so many questions. What did you do? Who did you do it with? What time? What did you do? Where did you go? Blah, blah, blah. It's just not gonna work. I mean, I'm not going to approach the relationship emotionally the same way. So taking a break or getting space or whatever, <laughs> for us, it's not a real thing. For me personally, it's not a real thing. Um, I feel like you open the door for a lot of things to impact that relationship or a lot of things to distract and to be destructive for that relationship. How do you work around a relationship with someone who has a girlfriend, however they keep entertaining you? Okay, so I've been in a position like this where uh, somebody has had a girlfriend and kept entertaining me. And I just... Ha, this is all on you. If you want to be entertained by somebody that you know has a girlfriend, then fine. That is all up to you. However, be always aware of the fact that... Excuse me. Yabonyi wine. Always be aware of the fact that um, this person has a girlfriend. The problem with the women in particular. I'm a woman. I know. Okay. The problem with women in particular is that... But this person, when he walked into this, this entertainment with you, knew and told you that he has a girlfriend. So you took it then and you allowed yourself to be entertained. That's the thing. You allowed yourself to be entertained. And then tomorrow you catch really, really hectic feelings. And then you get hurt when this person says, but, but, but I told you I have a girlfriend. I told you I have a girlfriend. Why are you hurt? Why are you hurt? Because you knew. So if you choose to be entertained, you are the one choosing to be entertained. Again, there's many side questions that could come into this context. Why are you allowing it to happen? Do you like him? Are you allowing him to entertain you knowing that he's got a girlfriend? Are you allowing this to happen because you like him? And if you do like him, is it wise? Is what you are doing wise? You know, it goes into all the conversations that you have with this person and is it okay? Does it work for you? Is it wise for you? If when you I wouldn't recommend it because I don't know, like I'm a firm believer of, 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 you know, what goes around comes around. I wouldn't allow myself to be entertained by somebody who's uh, got a girlfriend and give a business and whatever, because I feel like one day it's going to happen to me. So I, I don't do things like that, but I just think be aware of it. And if you want to, what does that say about you as well? Ask yourself questions like this, because I feel like they're very important to answer. Uh, what does that say about you? It says he's trashy. Okay. There's no two words about that. He's trashy. Busy trying to entertain you when he knows what he's doing. But what does it say about you? We're not going to speak for other people here. We're going to speak for you. What does it say about you? So think about it. Think about it. Like Coconut Kel says, think about it. How do you keep the relationship fun? How do you keep the relationship fun? How do you keep the relationship fun? <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like you need to understand what 
your traditions are with your partner. I feel like every relationship, every couple has traditions. There's certain things about your relationship that you do together that, that, that always keeps the vibe, the spark between the two of you. It's like things that you connected with from the beginning, right? So in my relationship, we connect via music. It's one of our things. When we're together all the time, we're listening to music. We teach each other new artists and things like that. And we listen to a certain type of music. And um, it's always been a thing that brings us together. If we're not doing that, we're watching movies. We're kind of bonding over food or whatever. We're always bonding over something. It's a very, you know, I feel like um, you keep doing things that you know bring you together emotionally and uh, physically. And uh, you, 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 you keep it going that way. Look, you can play games. I'm very, I in my relationship this half is the one that likes to play games typically sometimes i'll do like a, a q and a session like okay we're gonna answer a round of questions or we're gonna whatever you know i don't know you know and you 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 do things here and there to just introduce something different into the relationship while keeping the core things that make you that unit alive as well right so you 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 keep the things that cause the spark initially there and you keep that stuff going because that's what caused you to 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 you know apart from you know his face and his body and all the physical attractions that cause you to love someone or to fall in love with them or whatever but those other things uh that 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 you know bonded you together don't be despondent once it, the relationship hits a little bit of a plateau. It doesn't necessarily mean the other doesn't love the other or now the relationship has become boring. No, it just literally means that you've reached a space where you're very comfortable with one another, whether you're talking or not, whether you're um, talking as much as you used to or not, or whether you're going out as much as you used to or not, or whether you it, it doesn't necessarily mean you love each other any less, uh, or whether you call each other as much or not it doesn't mean you love each other any less it means you've gotten to a place where your relationship has plateaued and you're very comfortable around one another you know you know you're not necessarily doing body striptease every night that kind of thing you're not i got another question that says would you date a girl i have dated a girl before i feel like if you have watched this channel you will know i i spoke about this uh in one of my videos i forget which video it is i have dated a girl before and it was great it was great we actually still friendly even now we talk and all of that but it's not uh typically it, it it would take the girl would have to be really special like there must be something about her for me to be with a girl i mean i can appreciate very beautiful women and say oh my god she's beautiful and oh my god woo and whatever but not to a point where it would push me further than that where i'd, I'd want to get a number or i'd want to chat with her and chat her up and whatever no no, no, no. I, I haven't felt that way for years. But I have before, once before, and it was great. It was electric. It was fun. It was fun. Um, is it possible to love two people at the same time? I say no. Uh, for me, it's definitely not possible to love two people at the same time. There's always one you're going to love more. There's always one that I've been told this to my face that I love you and her. I love you both. And I'm just like, I'm sorry, what? Hey, wh why, why, why? But I really don't feel like you can love two people at the same time. There's always one you're going to love more than the other. That's just how it is. That's just how it works. You cannot, don't let anyone shy, shy you and say, I love both of you and I don't know what to do. No, no, they, if they can have that conversation with you, trust. They don't want to lose you, but they want to keep them as well, which to me would mean that they love them. A lot better than you more than you um, I don't feel that you can love two people at the same time I really don't there's one there's that that you always have a little bit more extra oomph for there's always one that you'll be in love with and you will love them and you'll be in love with them and then the other one is just gonna lose out and it's just going to be a tragic situation you know so 
that's how I feel about that. And I'm gonna close this video off here. I hope uh, I can't. I can't possibly answer all of them. So. I hope I answered most of them. Um, thank you so much for the questions. They were very, very interesting and had me think a lot before I opened my mouth with a lot of them. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed part one as well. Uh, please, if you want to see more of these kinds of videos, comment, subscribe join the, the the channel join the family uh, and click that notification bell so you know the next time i upload a video until then i'm gonna go and i'm gonna drink more and i'm gonna see you in the next video bye mm -hmm. Wana, why are you seeming confused about it okay thanks thank you thank you thank you